from the very beginning, I think we very, as a team, GBH and Pipeline just clicked in terms of the vision and the idea that we wanted to put on screen. I wanted the show to look and feel very friendly, uh, like a place that you wanted to live, a place that you wanted to play. <laughs> We made everything very round. Instead of having straight lines, we curved things. Whee! We also didn't want to overcomplicate the message. So the simplistic recipe that we've chosen and embraced and leaned into was to make sure that our designs read very well and they're simplified in terms of the amount of detail. So that means we want to make sure that our design choices were highly readable on screen, especially nowadays, kids watching things on tablets or phones. I like how just everything's kind of simplified, but at the same time, the color just pops so well and it, it grabs your attention. So like whatever's going on, you're just so focused on like what they're interacting with, what they're doing. Maybe if we turn the car on its side, it will fit. We've got this really fluid, uh, robust animation on these very simple, stripped back, really appealing characters. Hi, Mr. E! Motion's a huge part of the recipe of working at Wombats. There's slides everywhere. There's a lot of fun ways to get around. Yahoo! I love the we go from something really super silly and kinetic and all this crazy energy, and then we Boom, we're, we're down to this really, really sweet, adorable interaction. On your mark, get set, go! Inside these characters are very complex rigging systems that can drive motions of limbs, and arms, and faces, and expressions. So sometimes on shows, the rigs can really drive all the pieces and parts. But for here, we kind of did a rig that was an innovative step away from overly complicated technology to allow animators to really just draw things by hand. So what does that give you? That gives you how characters have little nuances, how each one individually has their own little walk or little skip, the way that they can quickly go from walking into rolling. Through the animation, that's where we really bring the stories together. That's where we bring these wombats to life. Often the characters have to manipulate objects and even the characters themselves have to rotate in space. So we have to design all these objects in all the different views and all the different rotations that exist so that when we pass it to animation, they have an object that essentially looks like it's 3D. Our characters are flat, and when you have flat characters, it's really great for animation because you can simplify uh, the models and move them a lot with simplification. But with simple characters, they often will blend into the background. So one of the ways to push them off of the background is to texturize the background. I also like to use atmospheric perspective. Now you can use that trick push the characters forward by hazing out anything that's behind the characters, even if it's not technically that far away. We use a lot of curvilinear perspective, and that's where you warp the perspective so that it looks like, if you pan across the room, it looks like the camera's just rotating in space. Uh, they can get to anywhere within one background, and it just opens up the possibilities. <laughs> One thing I wanted to mention about trying to make a, 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 a stripped back, simple show with a lot of heart still takes so much, so many people and, and so much energy. It's such a diverse and wonderful team from GBH to our studios in Chile, in Colombia, and it really helps push the work that much further. Everybody's trying to do really good work and tell great stories, and I think it's going to come across when it comes on screen. We love that idea! Woohoo!